If you love the ISUPK, stay in the loop. Go to Google Play and download the new user-friendly One West ISUPK app and get exclusive footage to our online classes and street speaking videos. Also, the Black Watch podcast, hosted by Commanding General Yohanna, the leader of the Nation of Israel. It's real easy to stay in tune with the ISUPK and the information we're putting out. Just go to Google Play and type in One West UPK app and hit download. Let's get it in. Don't be left out. Matthew chapter 18 verse 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, if your brother do you wrong, he, bring, he about to bring it up right now. If your brother do you wrong, it's getting ready to tell you what you should do. Direct instructions on what to do if your brother do you wrong. Continue. Go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. You go to him and him alone. Don't tell everybody else around the neighborhood. Don't tell the whole block what's getting ready to go down. You go to him and you go to him alone. Right. Nobody else. Don't send little messages. It's almost like dry snitching. Don't send little messages through other brothers to try to, to tell him how you feel. If the brother what? If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee slaughter. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If the brother shall trespass against thee, go to him and him alone. Not your wife, not some brother down the block, not the man right next to you. Keep that in your mind and go to him alone. It's real brotherly to do that in a way. I mean, when you're doing that, you showing him that look, I care and I'm offended of what you said, so I'm gonna come to you by yourself, me and you, and not in some damn secret room neither. Just go to him and him alone. Read it from the top again, brother, please. Follow the shot. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. You and that man, your brother, y'all will become good again once the offense is over with. Drop that, brother. Let me get Luke 6 and 31. And while the brother's getting the scripture, what I'm bringing out is brotherhood. Brotherhood amongst blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And them only. If you are not on this 12 tribe chart, you do not matter to the most high. Right. And we're not saying that. The Bible is saying that. That's right. And we're going to bring it out. We're going to show proof of who the most high loves and who he hates. Read that. Luke chapter 6, verse 31. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. If your brother treats you with kindness and respect, treat him with the same kindness and respect. Don't disrespect the man. Because all you're going to get is disrespect right back. And that's going to lead to a shot or a stabbing or some drugs in your pocket. That's all that lead to. Start from the top. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. For if ye love them which love you, what thank have ye? If you love your brother, he will love you back. Show respect and kindness. It's honorable to be, a, to be very brotherly right. towards your brother. Right. We not saying go out here and disrespect anybody. We saying love your brother. Forget the next man. Love that black man that's in the ghettos. Right. Love that Hispanic man that's in the barrios. Right. Love that native Indian that's on the reservations. Love those brothers and sisters 
down there in South America in the favelas. Look them and them only. Blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics. Nobody else. Drop that. Let me get Matthew chapter 25, verse 40, Barbara Kashuk. And why he getting this and why he getting the scripture? Black lives don't matter, black. Matthew 25 and 40, brother, Barbara Kashuk. Black lives don't matter. Blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics are the true Jews that the Bible speaks of. And all we doing, we came here to preach. We came here to teach what Christ taught. To love your brother. Love your brother like you love yourself. That's right. Read on. Matthew chapter 25, verse 40. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily, I say unto you, and as much as ye have done it unto one of the, la the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Shut up. Drop that. Go to Matthew 5 and 22. What the brothers getting ready to bring out, we show a true brotherhood up here. Today, you will know if you're a black, Hispanic, and Native Indian, what true brotherhood is about. That's what we're about. Come get a flyer. We teach the truth of this, real, of this Bible right here. Unlike the Christian church, the disgusted Christian church, and the disgusted Christian pastor who consistently lies to you every damn Sunday. Why do you keep giving your money to him? Because he is a pimp. And you love giving the pimp money. You love seeing him look good while you starving. Bubba Kishore 5 and 22. Matthew chapter 5, verse 22. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause. Whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause. Don't just, don't just make up some things in your mind and just automatically be angry with your brother. Don't do that. That's weak. That's very weak. And it's childish. You can't just make up things in your mind and blame your brother for it. Read on. Shall be in danger of the judgment. Shall be in danger of the judgment. Read from the top, brother. Bob, but I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. If you do not have a cause to be angry with your brother, you are in danger. Don't act fake towards your brother. Don't make up things in your mind and automatically blame him. That's right. He wasn't even on the scene when whatever went down. Show brotherhood. Show love. Go to him and him alone. Go talk to the man. Don't talk about him. Talk to him brotherly, kind with kindness. Don't disrespect him. Don't call him out his name. Don't start belittling with him. Don't start belittling with him. Don't want to sleep with his wife. Don't want to molest his kids. Don't want to steal from him. Because everything that I just said right there, that's unbrotherly. Do not be unbrotherly to your brother. And who is our brothers? These men back here and every black, Latino, and Native Indian on the planet today. Read that from the top, bro. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. Shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whoever, whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. Do not disrespect your brother. Keep giving your brother brotherly advice if needed. If you need counsel, we give counsel. The men of the Lord, the real, true priests and prophets of the Most High. The Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. That's right. Drop that, brother. Let me get Luke 6 and 31. Let me get Mark 12 and 30. While the brothers get in the scripture, once again, what I'm bringing out is true brotherhood. Brother
brotherhood matters. If you do not have brotherhood, your, your, your society collapses. Your society collapses, your women will be anything under the, under, under the diabolical sun, anything. Show true brotherhood, and we will have a real nation. It starts with brotherhood. Christ showed brotherhood. 12 and 30, got that? Mark chapter 12, verse 30. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. And thou shalt love who? The Lord thy God with all thy heart. Who? The Lord thy God with all thy heart. Thou shalt love thy, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. If you love the Lord, then you, you should be loving your brother. To not love your brother is to not love the Lord. Because you, you treat your brother like you would treat yourself. You don't have nobody else. Brotherhood is a weapon. And we practice that every day in the universe, in the, in the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge. Come get a flyer. Come to class. Come know your true identity. You got that, brother? Mark 12 and 30. Mark. Chapter 12, verse 30. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. This is the first commandment. What is it again, brother? Read that again. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. This is the first commandment. Keep going, brother. And with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, name, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Thy neighbor is your brother, not the person that lived directly next door to you. This is old English in these scriptures. Your neighbor is your brother, not not the heathen that live next door to you. If it's an African that live next door to you, that's not your neighbor. East Indian live next door to you, that's not your brother. Anybody from Asia, East Indian, Chinese, Japanese, that live next door to you, that's not your brother. Drop that, brother. Let me get John 15 and 12, Baba Kishar. What we're bringing out right now is, just because somebody lives next door to you doesn't mean that that's your neighbor, okay? In today's terms, in America's terms, yeah, that would be your neighbor if you go by that standard. But we read it strictly from the scriptures. The Lord said, respect thy neighbor, love thy neighbor as thyself. Your neighbor is your brother. On, these, on this chart right here, the 12 tribes of Israel, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. That's your neighbor, not these other nations. You got the scripture, brother? Read, Bob Kishon. John chapter 15, verse 12. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Ye love one another as I have loved you. The Lord loved us. The Lord loved us. Love thyself. Read it again from the top. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Love one another as he have loved us, as he have loved you, as I have loved you. This is the Lord. This is the Most High telling us. He loved us. So love one another. Be brotherly. Always be in the spirit of brotherhood, not to be a betrayer of your brother. Don't sell your brother crack. Don't sell him weed. Don't sell him heroin. Don't sell him mollies. Any lean, anything that make your brother get high. Don't sell him nothing like that. Don't give your wife to your brother. Don't perform orgies on each other's girls. Show true brotherhood. Read it from the top one more time. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. 
greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. A man lay down his life for his friends. In brotherhood, we die for each other back here. We will die for each other. That's the brotherhood that we got. And that's the brotherhood that we all supposed to have. Come get a flyer. Join this truth. This truth is all we have. Once we break these laws, statutes, and commandments, we are dead and destroyed. Nothing else. If you don't respect the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments, he will put you to death. Make sure that that is not, that's not a lie. We got the proof right here in the scriptures. Hold that up, bro. This is where we coming from right here. This book right here. The Bible that everybody got. I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward. There's a ghetto up in heaven and the south. Black power. Uh, 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. One body, one face, one Lord. Feel like I can take over the world with one sword. 144,000 men on one accord. Not being in this army is something you can't afford. Agree, niggas across the board. Ain't no suckers round us. You was looking for the truth. Well, that's how you found us. Now it's time to lace your boots up. We got the order from the king round the troops up. Let's go to war and die defending this nation if we gotta. Ain't no stopping us now. The chosen people love the power. Standing strong like a man. Cause in our camp it ain't no cowards no. 144 grand, nigga is step before the sun Rather die like a man, man Than live like a coward There's a ghetto up in heaven and it's ours I'd rather die